Hi, this is Linda West from lindawest.com and I'm going to review the lower end um, cello cases that are, cost quite as much. We have three models here, actually two are by Eastman, but they're different models, and this one's by Bob Lock. This is the popular fiberglass model by Bob Lock, it's a 2000. This is the Eastman ZTAC, also known as the CACL28, and this is the Eastman CACL2018, and it's also referred to as the Classic. We're going to just look at them visually right now. We have the front. The sides. So you can check out the profile. Back view. Finish off with the bottom side. Shows the hinges and the bumpers. Now I take a look at the um, finish on each one. They're a little different. The bob lock is basically a sprayed in gel coat they get for the uh, color. So it's actually an integral color into the resin of the polyester resin. It's kind of a, a matte color, very a flat color, uniform. Come over to the ZTAC. The ZTAC uses metallic colors. Some of the um, pigments are more metallic looking than others. Um, this one is sort of the emerald green. It's very, very metallic. The blue is also metallic. The purple is sort of a raspberry metallic and uh, silver is very metallic and the others are more subtle. I'm going to move on over to the classic. They call this the pebble finish. It kind of has a two-tone textured colored look. This one's metallic gold of a bronze color. I'd also, while we're in this position, like to look at the flux in the back of the case. The Classic has considerable flux. I think I'm pushing it maybe a quarter inch. I don't think it's enough that it will contact your cello because the cello does sit off of the back. around to the ZTAC. Almost the same amount. It feels a little bit stronger, but I think it's pretty close to the same amount of flex. I don't know, it's possibly a quarter inch. We have the bob lock. got a little bit of flex, but because of these runners, I think it stiffens the back up quite a bit. Plus you have these elevated bumpers. So I think the back of your instrument's really well protected in this case. This case is a bit, um, get more thickness and width, so you can't actually fit some of the wider models in here that you would be able to fit in the slimmer Eastman cases. I'm going to talk about the stability. You can get them sideways so you can kind of get a view of how they stand. Starting with the bob lock. You know, that added weight is fairly stable. If anything, it wants to go towards the wheels if it got bumped hard enough. So you take maybe it's a lot lighter and it tends to want to roll off on the wheel side. Again, I discussed this in my other video and, and talked about the importance of not leaving your cello standing in a case for obvious reasons. This one seems really stable of the three, perhaps the most. I have to really push on it to make it want to 
fall backwards. And now we'll uh, look at the stability with the cases open. There's the case open. And we just want to look at the flexibility. Seems pretty stiff. Standing. That's the ZTEC. The other Eastman case, classic. A little bit of flex. Again, we have the single wall construction fiberglass. All three of these are constructed basically the same. Last time I worked on these cases to do repairs, the bob block was made out of fiberglass matting, and the Eastman's were fiberglass cloth. Now to close these cases, bob block seems fairly easy. We have seven latches. Plastic balance around the edge for seal. I was trying to do the latches on either side of the handle early in the game so it lines up. basically match the same. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back into weighing each one of these cases so you can see what the weight is of each one. Well, this one tips the scale at 15.1. Not a featherweight. Zeroed out. Here's the Eastman Classic, probably the most economical of the three. This one is 12 pounds. Not too bad for that price range. <coughs> Z-Tech has lined up their load a little bit by changing the interior fabric, for better or for worse. I'm not sure about its durability yet. This one is 11.7. Right, the straps that come with these cases. We have the um, both Eastman cases come with um, the style strap. 
this shoulder pad, it's low padding, but it slides up and down. And you can use it either for a long shoulder strap, which I'd probably do use the top D-ring for, or the double backpack strap. I'm just going to show you on this one case because the, um, the classic is really identical. They both come with these shoulder straps that can be used either for a single or double. They also come with keys. I don't know if you really need to lock your case unless you want an excuse not to, to uh, play at your lesson because I know kids that go to their lessons and forget their keys and their case is locked and then they don't have a lesson. So and then, then their adjustment would be down here. The bob lock comes only with a single shoulder strap. This is what it comes with. If you want a double strap system, you could buy the padded V-strap. Probably the bob lock strap kit would also work that I sell for a little more money. But they just sell it as a, a single, single shoulder. So if you think you'd rather have a backpack system, you actually have to pay a little more. It's pretty reasonable. But it's this um, padded V, which is fairly comfortable that you don't, you're not going to use it for slinging over one shoulder, probably. And you can choose to put it low or high. Either one would probably work. Probably, if you put it low, it would be riding higher on your back. If you want individual straps, then you'd probably buy the, the BAM. And the other hardware we have on the bob lock, we looked at the latches already. We have these handles here on the shoulder that are nice. These are actually leather, it looks like to me. Again, this is good for picking up in a vertical position, walking through doorways or down halls in the subway. We just sort of need to have the cello lifted easily vertically rather than trying to hug it. It has, also has a leather handle down here. These seem to hold up pretty good. I haven't heard of anybody having problems with them or breakage. It just sort of depends on how you use your case. Um, hinges. They're fairly wide. That helps a little bit. It's pretty thin, but um, they seem fairly stable. Cash with four points, rivet points. And the D-rings, oh, the wheels are interesting. If we could look down here at the wheels. They actually are only attached here in the middle. I'm not sure if this axle goes all the way through. I have a feeling it might. But um, then they have a uh, lock nut here. So they'd be pretty easy to replace as they wore out. That's that for the... Uh, hardware on the um, bob lock. Oh, and they all have this pull handle. And all three of these have wheels, so. The Eastman has the back latches. These are plastic shoulder handles. We have two of them up here. Um, this handle looks like leather. I've seen the leather kind of come unstitched and there's a metal, sheet metal housing inside here. I think the Bob Lock has a similar um, way of manufacturing. And I believe it's riveted on there. I'm not sure how it would be replaced. It could be screwed in there. I haven't replaced one yet, so one day I probably will. The wheels are replaceable. They have I think they're actually screwed on now rather than riveted, which makes it a little easier for people to replace them themselves, which is nice. And both the z and the Classics have the same hardware, so I'm just going to only show you this one. Uh, the hinges are tied into the rubber stops. And a little narrower, but the case seems stiff enough. And then we'd, go, we'd want to go into and look at some of the interior. Okay. 
And now we're going to start with the interior of the classic Z um, Eastman case. We have a uh, accessory pouch up in the uh, scroll area of the case. It happens to be well coated in so it can be removed. On the opposite side, you have an elastic scroll loop. This is really important to use when you're um, Taking your cello out of the case and you unstrap the Velcro, your cello can flop, fall forward. If you have, are using this scroll loop, <clears throat> it's kind of your safety to prevent your cello from falling once you open up the neck strap. It keeps your cello from falling out. Now down to this neck strap, you have a foam block. This is sort of set up like the um, other review I did with the K3. Same setup, neck block with Velcro straps. Working down, we don't really have any shaped neck support, but the whole back has foam shaped like the cello, so it sits and supported by the edge, the back edge, and it keeps the, um, the back of the cello off the back of the case. You can see some of the flex going on here with the back of the case. There's about a half of an inch thick padding all the way around. On the bottom, over here we have the Velcro flat bow holders with a pocket on the bottom. I like to keep my frog downwards because um, sometimes this opens up and the frog can come out and scratch the cello. There's padding in the bridge area. It's also about the same thickness as the side padding. It's uh, protecting the bridge area of your, your cello and this bottom pad is also squishy and it keeps the uh, cello from coming forward. It presses but down on the uh, tailpiece. The bottom blocks down here has a little bit of foam cushioning but then they're pretty solid. I think it's probably styrofoam in there. And that's good solid support close to the end pin block where it's structurally strong. So it's a good solid case and, and good protection. The strap keeps it from opening all the way, which this is better. This strap used to be at the bottom of the case and it used to get caught when you close it. It would get caught. This one doesn't seem to be as problematic. Put this one aside. Now the interior of that classic was like a blue, dark, dark blue velour. This material is different in the z -Tech. I think they were saving some weight with this black interior. It's very thin. It's kind of like a Velcro. Velcro sticks to this fabric. So you have to be careful of that. Um, the interior is basically laid out identical. It has the uh, pouch, which is actually sticking to the interior. They both have these hygrometers in them. It tells you the humidity of the air. And you want your humidity to be around between 40 and 60. A little more humidity or slightly less is okay. I think it's rapid fluctuations that's more problematic. So the case will help control the environment um, and protect your case from rapid changes in the house, the heating and things like that. This also has the neck block. Same type of foam, shaped foam interior. About the same thickness of padding. Bottom pads are the same. So everything's pretty identical. It's just the main difference is the fabric that they used is thinner and I think they're shaved a little bit of weight. So these two are pretty much the same inside. The bob lock, one of the things I notice when I open up a bob lock case, <clears throat> the interior fabric's gorgeous, it's very luxurious, but there's kind of a smell to this case. I think it's the, either the uh, adhesive they use, or maybe it's still some remnants of the polyester resin, but it definitely has a strong smell. I just recommend putting it out on the back porch for a while, let it air out, and it, it goes away eventually. This also has a scroll loop, a nice neck block, really soft, uh, velvety interior. Um, it has these two pads, top and bottom, 
that um, hold the cello up away from the back of the case. It's not quite as much flex because of those runners on the back we were looking at earlier. These kind of are padding the sides. It's a little real roomy case. Uh, most Montagnanas will even fit in this case and they actually make um, an XL model for really oversized cellos. And I've seen um, not only Montagnanas fit in there, but if the Surveya Strad copies, which are just giant, they'll fit in that XL bottle lock case. This one, the pouch going back up, this pouch is um, actually sewn in, so it's not removable. Velcro closure. It's got something, I think it's got keys in there. This um, cushion here holds the neck up against the neck block. These also just have flaps. Would be a bad idea to close the top. That would make it even better. It'd be nice if they did that. And the sewn, the bottom pockets are sewn. And then you have a really large cushion to hold the tailpiece in and against the case back. And there's hard plastic to protect your case from the end pin if you don't put your rubber end cap back on. That pretty much covers the, the bottle lock. Hope that helps out.